Well, welcome to St. Mary's Church in Norwich. You'll notice that we don't have any other title. It's St. Mary's Church. That's because this is the first St. Mary's Church in the diocese. In fact, this parish was established in 1845, the first Catholic parish east of the Connecticut River in Connecticut. From that time, it's been a home for immigrants and for migrants and people who have had to pull up roots in their own homes, travel long distances and settle down in a new place. It was the Irish that came to Greenville section of Norwich back in 1845 and established their home here. This church building was built in 1921. It was after the old church wasn't large enough anymore. But by then it wasn't just Irish. There were people from all over the place that had come to Norwich for jobs and for work. This is still a, a migrant church, a home to people from different places who have pulled up roots. Our services, our masses are in Spanish and in Haitian Creole. We do have a, a, a mass that is in Spanish and English. A few years back, we were trying to figure out how to celebrate the a centennial. You usually do something like a capital campaign to improve the building. It took a long time to get plans made for it, but by the time we started assessing it, we discovered that the church tower had very severe problems. It was dangerous to leave people walking openly in the front door. So this year we've had to respond to that by fencing off the front area of the church to begin a restoration. So we're trying our best to make this a home again by reestablishing the church. He said he loves this church because he was born into a Catholic church. He was baptized in a Catholic church. He got married in a Catholic church and he's just been around Catholic churches his whole life. And he also said he likes that you can blend with a bunch of communities, like the English speaking community, Spanish speaking community and all types. Hello, my name is Albania Tejada and I am the Faith Formation Director here at St. Mary's. What makes this uh, church special is uh, the people. Like we have a beautiful building, but the community is uh, very great. We have a representation with all the immigrants. We have a lot of Peruvians, uh, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Dominicans. Guatemala, Ecuador, Honduras. We host our Haitian community that we love, and we are all a great family. I'm standing in what was originally the baptistry of the church, but it, now it's a very nice niche where we've placed a big platform that's behind me that we pull out every October and carry through the streets of Norwich in a great procession. The feast is called El Señor de los Milagros, Our Lord of Miracles. And wherever Peruvian Catholics gather, they celebrate this great feast day. In Lima, Peru, there are hundreds of thousands of people in the street. A long time ago in Peru, a village was semi-destroyed by an earthquake. Everything came down except one wall of the church on which this picture hung. It was a reminder to the people that even in disaster, God is with them and God will not let them be lost completely. He'll stay with them and stand with them. He says we wanted to thank Father Bob, Alvanya, and Sister Yannick and all the members of this church because we left our country to come here and we found good support in this church. Come to see our beautiful place.